Yeah, and Bill and Candace, Governor Ralph Northam covered a lot of subjects in his news conference today. We just want to give you an update on one of them that had some developments in the last hour. Northam saying today he had requested the State Corporation Commission extend its moratorium on utility cutoffs uh, that was set to expire tomorrow and something that has been in place for several months. Just in the last hour, a spokesperson for the commission says they have granted Northam's request and that moratorium will be extended extended until October 5th. Meanwhile, Northam also today calling on Virginians to remain vigilant in preventing the spread of COVID-19. Virginia Governor Ralph Northam says the statewide positivity rate is now at 7.1 percent and has been declining for almost two weeks, but could be lower. He says while he thinks the state is doing the right thing on testing, tracing and PPE, Virginians need to improve their preventative behavior. If we can do what we know works, and that is where facial protection, that's not too much to ask. And keep our social distancing, that's not a whole lot to ask. Northam says a lack of such precautions is partly behind an increase in cases in the state's southwest region. Since southwest Virginia has fewer people and fewer hospitals with fewer ICU beds and capabilities, uh, this continues to be concerning to us. Northam says they're continuing to monitor, but as he's not considering additional restrictions for the area. Officials also gave an update on the state's coronavirus notification app COVIDWISE. Since its launch last month, they say about 12% of Virginians between 18 and 65 have downloaded it. They say they're pushing to get as many as they can to do so, pointing to a recent study on the effectiveness of such a tool. Even at low uptake of such an app, at 15%, that you could see 15% reduction in uh, infections and an 11% uh, reduction uh, in deaths. And officials add that 155 people have used the app to anonymously, anonymously submit a positive result. And they say over the last five days, an average of 193 people have been notified of a possible exposure. Working for you at the state capitol, Cameron Thompson, CBS 6 News.